Welcome to Electro Online. Before we start doing some more complicated examples, let's keep doing some simple examples to get a good feel for what line integrals are. What we're going to do here is we take a look at this paraboloid. We can see that the height here in the z direction depends upon the values of x and y. So z is a function of x and y. So z can be defined, the surface of that paraboloid can be defined as being equal to x squared plus y squared. So to find what the line integral will be going from a to b, and let's say that uh, a is equal, that's at 0, 0, and let's say that b here is going to be at um, 2, 4, now this would be the y value and this would be the z value because what we're going to do is we're going to let x equal 0. We're going to integrate along the edge here so that x will always be 0 along that path, again to make things a little bit easier. In that case, we can say that ds, which is a small little line segment, which is normally equal to dx squared plus dy squared, can now simply be equal to dy because dx will be 0, so ds will be the square root of dy squared or simply dy, which means that our integral can now be written instead of the function of x and y, which is the z value of the surface times the s cannot be written as the function with x equals 0 only depending upon y and the s is replaced by dy and the limits from a to b will now be in terms of the y limits. So now we can go ahead and write what that integral is. So then the area, because remember that the integral will give us the area underneath the curve, think of it as a curtain hanging down from that edge of that paraboloid and it's this area that we're looking for that we're going to find using that line integral. So this is going to be equal to the integral from y equal 0 to y equal 2. And the function is going to be x squared plus y squared, but since x, square, uh, x is 0, we simply have to write y squared. Instead of ds, we're going to write dy. So that's a really e easy integral. So this becomes equal to the y cubed over 3, evaluated from 0 to 2, we only need the upper limit, so this will be 8 divided by 3, which is the area of the curtain hanging down from the path that we took to integrate along the edge of that paraboloid. And again, that's where the line integral is. And in this case, since we're multiplying a scalar quantity with a scalar displacement or distance traveled, we can say that then the answer will always be a scalar quantity, in this case the area underneath that path. And that's how it's done.